Hello and welcome dear students in the very first lecture of MSc second year. I am going to teach you uh, the organic chemistry subject, CHO, uh, subject code CHO352, uh, stereochemistry and asymmetric synthesis of organic com compounds. Uh, out of which I am going to teach you the first section, stereochemistry. Okay, so stereochemistry, uh, the total topic contains uh, uh, the subject name is stereochemistry and asymmetric synthesis of organic compounds. So we have to start with the stereochemistry of MSc second year. Here, in which first topic is the conformations of di and poly substituted cyclic hexanes. We have to see. Uh, let's start with the structure of cyclic Structure of cyclohexane. So cyclohexane, you know that it is a six member cyclic compound, saturated compound. It is a cyclohexane compound. Okay, so we have to see the conformations. Conformations. Uh, we know that uh, it has two conformation: chair conformation and boat conformation. Out of which most uh, stable form is a chair conformation. Where this chair conformation, we are, uh, we, are uh, we have to study here. Here conformations of di and poly substituted cyclohexanes. So cyclohexane is a six member compound. What we have to study about this substituted, okay, substituted, di substituted, uh, di substituted uh, or poly substituted cyclohexanes. Suppose here di substituted substitution see here x, y, these two groups, it is 1 1 di substituted compound, di substituted compound, 1 1 di substituted. Similarly, we can write x, y, it is 1 1 di substituted or it is geminal di substituted geminal. On the same carbon, two groups are there, that is the geminal. Now, here x, y. Position number 1 and position number 2. Okay, 1 and 2. So it is 1, 2 di substituted cyclohexane. Di substituted cyclohexane. Similarly, 1, 3. Position number 1, 2, and third position contains substituted. So 1, 3 di substituted compound. Di substituted compound. And Similarly, we can write 1, 4, 1, 4 di substituted one four di substituted compound. So we have to study these di and poly substituted cyclohexanes. So 1, 1 di substituted, 1, 2 di substituted, 1, 3 di substituted, 1, 4 di substituted cyclohexanes, their conformations, more stable conformations and uh, some other things that we have to study in the uh, conformations of di and poly substituted cyclohexane. Before that, we must know the conformation, chair conformation, most important and stable conformation of cyclohexane is a chair conformation. So how can we draw the chair? That is an important part of studying stable chemistry. We must have an art in the science of stereochemistry, must have an art of drawing the conformations. Okay, so chair conformations are uh, chair conformation can be drawn by two ways. Okay, so see here chair conformation I am drawing here before starting one one di substituted one two one three one four di substituted cyclohexanes. We have we must know how to draw the chair conformation. Okay, so to draw the chair conformation, see here, we have to draw two parallel lines. Okay, I am drawing here two parallel lines. And here, two dots, one dot is here and another dot is here. Okay, so we just connect these dots with the line, parallelly drawn. So, it is a chair conformation. Okay, so this is chair conformation one. Another form of chair conformation, we have drawn parallel lines. Now, similarly, we have to draw parallel lines in this manner. First, we have drawn this line, 
and another line started from half of the first line. Now here in this way and again make two dots showing the carbon. Showing the carbon. So this you have to connect these dots. So it is another chair conversion. Both are inter converting. Okay, chair conformation we can represent in this way. Now this chair conformation it contains six carbons. Okay, so six carbon contain now these two hydrogen because it is saturated compound. It contain every carbon contain two hydrogens or in substituted compound instead of hydrogen there is a substituent. Instead of hydrogen there is a substituent. So there are two positions here. Two positions. Here see this one hydrogen or maybe another group. Now this group attached here. This group attached here. Okay. These are six groups or six hydrogens are there. So hydrogens, I'm writing hydrogens here for unsubstituted cyclone chain. So these positions are axial positions. Axial positions or axial hydrogens. Axial hydrogens. And remaining are remaining are equatorial hydrogens. So here this hydrogen written in this way. So these two are equatorial. It is equatorial. Now this is equatorial, here equatorial and here another equatorial hydrogen. So these are equatorial positions and these uh, first I have written axial positions. Okay. You know all these, uh, you know, uh, I know that uh, you have studied all these things before in uh, previous standards. But uh, starting with this axial and equatorial position is must because if you don't know the axial and uh, equatorial position or how to draw the structures then you are not able to understand these conformations of dial polish substituted cyclides. So here in this case also the axial positions I am writing here first axial position here this is axial position here in this case axial position axial position here axial position and this is the axial position and uh, another equatorial positions here this is equatorial position this is equatorial position here equatorial position and here equatorial position so here in this case we can write equatorial position here equatorial position so in this way we can write the axial position and equatorial position in cyclohexane chair conformation so these are chair conformation here cyclohexane we can draw now how to convert let's see how to convert the uh, planar structure into chair conformation or convert one chair conformation to another chair conformation it's also important because we have to draw all these structures of uh, 1 2 1 3 1 4 so to draw this let, let's take an example of substituted cyclohexane it is tri substituted cyclohexane i'm taking here so CS3 I have taken here OH group and here BR on the back side. Okay. I have to convert this structure into chair conformation. Okay. I have to convert this structure into chair conformation. Which groups are at axial, which groups are at uh, equatorial positions. To, uh, to find out this, uh, let's see first an example of this tricyclic cyclohexane. So initially start with the drawing the structure of cyclohexane chair conformation. So see here chair conformation. I am drawing here chair conformation initially. This chair conformation. This is chair conformation. Okay. Writing here axial positions. These are axial positions. Okay, these are axial positions. These are 
equatorial positions okay equatorial positions equatorial positions okay to understand properly give numbering to these components so i am giving numbering here see one starting from angle 1 2 3 4 5 6 I have given numbers to these all six carbons of this cyclic acid. Now, start with the one. The CH3 is upside. Okay, it's shown by wedge line. So CH3 is on the upside. So start with the one. I am giving number here. You can start from any carbon. Okay, no problem. You can start from any carbon. So I am starting from this carbon one. Okay. You number this one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, I have given numbers to these carbons. So properly, see here position number one. Okay, contains C H three and another hydrogen. So C H three is upside. So this is upside. So this C H three in the equatorial position, upside. Now see the position number three. Another contains hydrogen. Okay, group two contains two hydrogens. So you can add these hydrogens. Position number three. Three contains OH group and another hydrogen. So OH group is on the upside. So position number three. Upside is here. This upside. And this one is the hydrogen. Position number three. Okay. Now see the position number four. Four contain two hydrogens, so you can have two hydrogens in this way. Position number five, see here, bromine is downside, so this is downside. Just another hydrogen. Just see, uh, just here, if it is a back side, uh, it is a back side, then we can write it equatorial axis. Just down. Backside group must be written it down, and upside groups are must be in the upside. So upside here, upside here, OH group is at upside. So we can write these groups in this manner. Okay. Now we have to convert this one chair conformation to another chair conformation. Another chair conformation. So see here how first draw the chair conformation. First, draw the chair conformation. First, draw the chair conformation. Now, mention all the positions. First, equatorial. Here, sorry. First, axial positions. Here, axial positions I have taken, and then equatorial positions. Equatorial positions. Equatorial positions. Okay, so I have written a blank structure initially. Now give the numbering. When we flip the ring, ring flipping. See here. When we flip the ring, then what happens? This second group goes here. When we flip the ring, flip the ring. The ring flipping gives. Two number carbon here, where one number one number goes here, so it is carbon number one. You can give numbering one, two uh, in the similar manner. Anti-clockwise three, four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Now we have to just write up group on the upside and down group on the downside. See here, start with the carbon number one. Okay, so C S three. C S three. Is the group at carbon number one is at the upside? Okay, so write it at upside. See carbon number one upside the C H three upside uh, another hydrogen is at downside. See carbon number two contains two hydrogens, so upside downside. Go for carbon number three. O H group is is at upside, so O H is at upside hydrogen. At downside for carbon number three, C four contains two hydrogen, so I can write here two hydrogens for carbon number five. Bromine is 
down side. Okay, so right. Bromine here down side. We are here hydrogen. Bromine is down side. Hydrogen is there. And uh, carbon number six contains two hydrogens. Two hydrogens. So I have written these two hydrogens. Here. So this is simply flipping of ring. When ring flipped into another chair transformation, you can write these structures in this way. Okay. So this is drawing of chair conformation and putting the groups, putting the groups into the chair conformation. How to draw from planar structure to the chair conformation and how to flip the chair one chair conformation to another chair conformation. Remember these points. Revise it, pause it, and see the actual how can we transfer, uh, how can we uh, transform one ring into another ring, or how can we transform structure from planar structure to the equator, uh, planar structure to the ring structure, or chair conformation. So see here chair conformation. Let's start with the one one disubstituted cyclic ring. Let's start with the one one di substituted cyclohexane. Di substituted cyclohexane. I have taken a general example. One one di substituted cyclohexane. Suppose that this is cyclohexane. One one x and y di substituted. One one di substituted cyclohexane. Now. Whether x and y may be the same, x is equal to y. Sometimes x is not equal to y. Different groups are there at same carbon. So it is one one disubstituted at the same carbon atom. Two groups are attached there. So one one disubstituted. Okay. So now here one one disubstituted. If we take an example, example, if both groups are same, both are methyl groups, suppose. So I have written the methyl groups. Both methyl groups. Then in a chair conformation, we can write in the chair conformation. We can write methyl groups. What is that? Equatorial position. What is that? Axial position. Okay. What is that? Axial position. Or you may write it in another form. Yeah. 